In a recent and somewhat surprising move, Albania has announced plans to create a Vatican-like area for Muslims, a decision that has sparked a lot of discussion not only in the Balkans, but globally as well. We're going to explore what this move means for the country, its historical context, and how this could reshape the role of Islam in the region. So stick around, we've got a lot to unpack. Albania is a small country in Southeast Europe, nestled between Greece and Montenegro. But its history is vast. Albania has long been a crossroads of civilizations such as Illyrian, Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman, and with that came a mix of religious influences. What makes Albania particularly unique is that it is one of the most religiously diverse countries in Europe. Despite being a Muslim-majority nation, Albania's society is known for its religious tolerance and secular governance. How did Albania become a Muslim-majority country? The roots trace back to the Ottoman Empire, which ruled the region for over 400 years. During this period, many Albanians converted to Islam, but the country's overall approach to religion has always been relatively relaxed, especially compared to other parts of the Balkans. In fact, Albanians pride themselves on their religious harmony, and families with mixed religious backgrounds are common. But here's where things get interesting. After Albania became a communist state in the mid-20th century under the dictator Enver Hoxha, the country was declared the world's first atheist state in 1967. Religious practices were banned and places of worship were destroyed or repurposed. Fast forward to the fall of communism in the early 1990s and Albania slowly regained its religious freedoms. But the impact of decades of atheism left many Albanians practicing religion in a more subdued personal way. That's where we stand today. Albania is a secular state with a Muslim-majority population, and religion plays a relatively minor role in public life. Now let's talk about Albania's latest decision. The Albanian government has announced that they are in the planning stages of creating a Vatican-like area specifically for Bektashi Muslims. This would essentially be a designated zone in the capital city of Tirana, where Islamic culture and faith would be at the forefront. The area is set to include a grand mosque, an Islamic cultural center, and various other institutions that would serve as a hub for Muslims in Albania and potentially across the region. Let's look at the Bektashi belief. An offshoot of Sufism, the Bektashi movement originated in Turkey's region of Anatolia and soon became the official order of the elite military units, the Janissaries. However, over time, the order came under fire for its liberal approach to faith and growing political influence, and it was reduced in size and limited to Albania, Kosovo, and North Macedonia. The order was officially banned twice, first in the 17th century by the Ottoman Sultan Mahmud II. Then, in 1925, the founding father of the Turkish Republic, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, shut down all of the Bektashi lodges or Teki after he banned all branches of Islam not recognized by the Directorate of Religious Affairs from Turkey. The Sufis, the mystic branch of Islam, do not enforce the religion's more stringent tenets and the Bektashi are one of its most liberal branches. Dervish Baba Mondi, the current spiritual leader of the order, is set to be the leader of the sovereign state of the Bektashi order. He said decisions will be made with love and kindness. But what exactly does a Vatican-like area mean? It's worth noting that when we say Vatican-like, we don't mean a literal state within a state like the Vatican in Rome. It's more of a symbolic and cultural gesture. The plan is to create a space that will act as a center of spiritual, cultural, and administrative significance for Muslims similar to how the Vatican serves as the heart of Catholicism. This area would likely become a pilgrimage site for Muslims in the Balkans, a place where religious scholars, imams, and cultural figures can gather, share ideas, and engage with the broader Muslim community in Europe and beyond. So, why now? 
Why is Albania taking this step? There are a few key reasons. Firstly, Albania wants to solidify its identity within Europe while maintaining its unique cultural heritage. The Balkans have often been seen as a borderland between East and West, and for Albania, this move could be a way of positioning itself as a bridge between Europe and the Islamic world. Secondly, it's a reflection of Albania's increasing confidence in its religious diversity. By creating a space dedicated to Islam, the Albanian government is sending a signal that it embraces its Muslim heritage while also showcasing the country's commitment to religious tolerance. Albania has a history of religious coexistence, and this project seems to build on that tradition. Thirdly, there's a geopolitical aspect. Albania is trying to strengthen its ties with Muslim-majority countries in the Middle East, and this project could be seen as a way to attract investment and foster diplomatic relations with countries like Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states. And finally, the timing might also be about tourism. Religious tourism is a booming industry, and creating a Vatican for Muslims could attract visitors from across the Muslim world, bringing economic benefits to Albania. Of course, a decision like this doesn't come without controversy. Some critics within Albania argue that this move could alienate the country's Christian and secular communities. While religious tolerance is a cornerstone of Albanian society, there's a concern that creating a high-profile Islamic center might upset that balance. Albania has always prided itself on being a secular state, and some fear this could lead to the politicization of religion. On the international stage, reactions have been mixed. Some in the West see it as Albania moving closer to the Islamic world, which might complicate its relationship with the European Union, a bloc that Albania has been keen on joining for years. On the other hand, some Muslim-majority countries have welcomed the move, viewing it as a positive step for the representation of Islam in Europe. The debate is ongoing, and it will be interesting to see how this project evolves in the coming years. So, what does this mean for Albania and the broader Muslim community? If successful, this could serve as a model for how Muslim-majority countries in Europe balance their religious identity with secular governance. Albania, with its long history of religious tolerance, might be able to create something unique something that celebrates Islamic culture without undermining its secular principles. It's a bold move and one that will undoubtedly shape Albania's future, both domestically and on the world stage.